Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. One out of five Americans are at risk of a genetic condition that can cause cardiovascular disease and it can strike early. The Lipoprotein A Foundation is helping people diagnose and treat this condition. And here to tell us all about it is founder and president Sandra Revel Tremulis. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having us. Welcome. Okay, so we want to talk um, about this foundation. You started it for a very personal reason. Yes, I, I started the foundation because one in five people and one in five families globally, that's 63 million people in the United States, have genetically high LPA, lipoprotein A, and they're at at least a 60% increased risk for cardiovascular disease. And this is a genetic disease, and this is something, you're one of those people. Yes. At 39? Yes. You had a heart attack. Yeah, but my story, um, unfortunately, like a lot of people, they don't find about, out about their high LPA until after they have a heart attack or a stroke. Mm -hmm. And, and I some was. Die. Yes. It's too late. Yeah, mm -hmm. in fact, 50% of them die. Mm -hmm. um, I was young, fit, and healthy, 39. I was a runner and I taught aerobics and I had a heart event. I had a widow make a blockage in my heart and they didn't find out about my high LP delay until afterwards because everything else was normal. Mm -hmm. You know, here I am, this young, fit, healthy female. They couldn't understand why I'd had a heart event and they tested my LPA and found out that I had this high LPA. And if you have a family history of cardiovascular disease, my father died at 50. My brother had a heart attack and has had trouble bypass, and I had a widow make a blockage at 39. Mm -hmm. If you have a family history of cardiovascular disease, you should get checked for high LPA. And it's, it's not part of the standard lipid panel, though. You have to ask your doctor for it. Okay, so this is, uh, we're looking at a worksheet right here. It shows a family tree. Yes. So it's, this is number one, asking your family about the yes, health definitely. history. Yeah, and I didn't do that, really. I knew about my dad, but I didn't know about extended family until after my event. So it's very important to document your family history and take that to a cardiologist. And if you have a family history of cardiovascular disease, according to the cholesterol guidelines now, you can request to get an LPA blood test. And it is genetic. Mm -hmm. um, diet and exercise have very little impact on this particular lipoprotein. You're already familiar with LDL low-density lipoprotein, mm -hmm. HDL, high-density lipoprotein. Well, this is another lipoprotein that carries this very high risk of cardiovascular disease. And at the moment, it's not tested for on a, a routine basis, and that's why the foundation is here, to advocate to get this test included as part of the standard lipid panel. Well, if it's a simple blood test, it seems like it, it makes sense to do that. Yes. Especially and, because it affects so many people around the world. Yes, and that's what we're advocating for. Okay, so people can donate, people can get involved. Uh, yes, uh, we'd love to have them join us. And if they'd like to find out more information about the Lipoprotein A Foundation, they can go to testlpa.org, which is T-E-S-T-L-P-A.org. Mm -hmm. And you can find out a lot more information about LPA and about the risk that it carries. And if you have a family history of cardiovascular disease, uh, you should get your family tested for high LPA. Okay, that is great advice. Thank you so much for coming on the show, telling us about your foundation. Glad to see you're doing well, healthy, and yes, and that's so great. far so good. Thank yes. you very much. And if you want to learn how you can get tested, get involved, or even donate, just go to testlpa.org. Well, a volunteer transportation service is helping older adults and people with disabilities. We're going to learn more when we come back.